Good morning children. Hearty welcome to all of you for today's English session. Hope all are doing well. Children, have you noticed your marks? I think a few students, they didn't take the exam as a serious one. They got less marks. 10 to 15 students are there. Children, take it as a serious matter and start your studies seriously. Okay, so let's move on to our lesson. Today, I have a story for you from your moment's textbook, lesson 5, The Happy Prince. Okay, so first of all, let's see who has penned the story, The Happy Prince. The Happy Prince and Other Tales, sometimes called The Happy Prince and Other Stories, is a collection of stories for children by Oscar Wilde, first published in May 1888. It contains five stories, The Happy Prince, The Nightingale and the Rose, The Selfish Giant, The Devoted Friend and The Remarkable Rocket. All are children's stories. It is written by Oscar Wilde. Okay, so let's have a look at the story of The Happy Prince. Okay, so before moving ahead with the lesson, I'll give you a brief summary of the lesson. The story is about a prince. When the prince was alive, he was very happy. But after his death, a big statue of his was erected on a pedestal. You know what's the meaning of pedestal? Pedestal means a raised platform. A raised platform. From there, the statue of prince could see the entire city, the whole city. And at that time, he saw the miseries of the people. He saw the poor people, the homeless people, their hunger and starvation. The prince was sad to see all these memories. Sadness of the people, it's very, very difficult to bear. So the happy prince was very unhappy because he had seen all the miseries and sadness of the people. Okay, so uh, let's see the story of this prince. Okay, let me read the first paragraph, children. The Happy Prince High above the city on a tall column stood the statue of the Happy Prince. He was glided, he was gilded all over with thin leaves of fine gold. For eyes, he had two bright sapphires and a large red ruby glowed on his sword hilt. Okay, so... The statue of a prince. The statue of the happy prince. It was stood on a high platform overlooking the sea. The prince was called a happy prince because I told you when he was alive, he always remained very happy. But after his death, a big statue of his was erected in the center of the city in his remembrance. The statue of this happy prince was covered with a thin layers of gold and instead of eyeballs there were two bright shining sapphire stones and in the handle of his sword a bright ruby stone was placed so children come to page number 28 in your textbook you can see the picture of the happy prince the statue of the happy prince so from this paragraph we got a description about the statue so, first of all, the statue was placed on a high platform and secondly, the statue was covered with a thin layers of gold and instead of eyeballs, there were two bright shining sapphire stones. Then what about the handle of his sword? A bright ruby stone was placed. Okay, two words are there children for you. Gilded. He was gilded all over with the thin leaves of fine gold. What do you mean by gilded? Gilded means covered. He was gilded. He was covered all over with the thin leaves of fine gold. Then one more word. Hilt. Sword hilt. Hilt means the handle of a weapon. So here the handle of the sword. So the handle of the sword. There a bright ruby stone was placed. Hope you understood the first paragraph children. Then let's move on to the next one. One night there flew over the city a little swallow. 
His friends had gone away to Egypt six weeks before, but he had stayed behind. Then he decided to go to Egypt too. So swallow, you know, it's a tiny bird, isn't it? Okay, so swallow is a tiny bird. Although it's not a human being, the writer is referring him as he or his. Have you seen that? Yes, one night there flew over the city a little swallow. His friends. Hmm? Have you seen that? So, although it's not a human being, the writer is referring him as he or his, his friends. Hmm? So, he says that all the friends of his, this swallow had flown away to Egypt six weeks ago. So, did you get the sentence? One night, there flew over the city a little swallow. Then what happened to the little swallow? His friends had gone away to Egypt six weeks before. But he had stayed behind. And then he decided to go to Egypt. So, what is going on there, children? All the friends of the swallow had flown away to Egypt six weeks ago. But this bird did not go with them. But later, it thought of going to Egypt to his friends. So, it was on its way to Egypt. Clear. He decided to go to Egypt. All day long he flew and at night time he arrived at the city. Where shall I put up? He said, I hope the town has made preparations. So, put up. Have you seen that word children put up? Where shall I put up? So, what do you mean by put up? Put up means to leave or to stay for the night. So, all day long he flew. And at night time, he arrived at the city. So, the bird kept on flying its way to Egypt. It decided to fly to his friends in Egypt. So, the bird kept on. The bird continued his flying on its way to Egypt. And at night time, he reached the city. Which city? The city of the happy prince. Then, it wanted to stay somewhere for the night. So, he said, or he asked, where shall I put up? So, what do you mean by where shall I put up? Where shall I live for this night? Okay. Where shall I live for this night? Or where to live for the night? So it wanted to stay somewhere for the night. Then it thinks upon where to live or where to stay at night. So the bird says hopefully what it is. Yes, the city had made arrangements. Have you seen that? The town. I hope the town has made preparations. So, it's a humorous sentence, children. I hope the town has made preparations means we can say that probably the bird is being humorous. The writer Oscar Wilde made a humorous sentences. Have you seen any arrangements for birds? No. So, I hope the town has made preparations. Then, he saw the statue on the wall, tall column. So, what did he see, children? Suddenly, he saw the statue. Which statue? The statue of the happy prince on the tall column. I will put up the air, he cried. It's a fine position with plenty of fresh air. So he alighted just between the feet of the happy prince. So what did he do, children? Yes, he had seen the statue of the happy prince. So he said, I will put up there. Yes, I will live there for the night. It's a fine place with plenty of fresh air. So he alighted just between, what do you mean by alighted, children? Descended, come down. Alighted means came down. Alight means descend or come down. So alighted, it's a past tense. So came down or descended. So what did he do, children? Yes, the bird thought it was a good place for him to spend the night. There was a shelter and a lot of fresh air. So he came and settled there. So he came down. It stopped and sat in between the feet of the statue of the happy prince. Okay. I have a golden bedroom, he said softly to himself as he looked around. Why, children? I have a golden bedroom. So, when the bird sat in between the feet of the happy prince, it was surrounded with the gold. As I told you, the description of the happy prince's statue. What it was, children? He was gilded all over with the thin leaves of fine gold. So, we can say it's a bedroom. It's a golden bedroom i have a golden bedroom he said softly to himself as he looked around and he prepared to go to sleep so he prepared to go to sleep but just as he was putting his head under his wing a large drop of water fell on him what a curious thing he cried 
there is not a single cloud in the sky the stars are quite clear and bright yet it's raining then another drop fell so what's happening there children yes when the bird sat in between the feet of the happy prince it was surrounded with the gold so he thought that it had a bedroom made of gold because it was surrounded by gold the statue was surrounded by gold all around then as it was about to sleep as the swallow was about to sleep as he was putting his head under the wing suddenly a large drop of water fell on it the bird was surprised what's the reason children what a curious thing there is not a single cloud in the sky the stars are quite clear and bright and yet it's raining so the bird was surprised because all of a sudden a drop of water fell on him it thought that neither it was neither was it raining nor the rainy season was going on but the swallow could not believe this what's the reason children because the sky was not cloudy the stars were shining just then another drop of water fell on him then another drop fell so he was surprised he got he got a strange thing what's the reason children because there was not a single cloud in the sky the stars were quite clear and bright yet it was raining that is what is the curious thing or the strange thing happened there then second second drop fell another drop fell on him so see next paragraph what is the use of a statue if it cannot keep the rain off he said i must look for a good chimney pot and he determined to fly away so what is doing there children what is the use of a statue if it cannot keep the rain off so what is he trying to say children yes the swallow thought that the statue was useless what's the reason because it was not able to protect it from the rain because it was not able the statue was not able to protect him from the rain so he thought he should not sleep under the statue so he decided to find a better place so according to him it was better if it looked shelter if it took shelter in a chimney of a house you know what's the meaning of chimney so and thought to move away from the uh, the statue was not able to protect him from the rain so what did he do children yes he determined to fly away he decided to fly away what's the reason because he thought that the statue was useless because it was not able to protect it from the rain and at the same time he decided to sleep in a chimney pot or the chimney of a house he decided to take shelter in a chimney of a house and determined to fly away but before he had opened his wings a third drop fell and he looked up and so oh what did he see so what's going on there children yes he determined a uh, he decided to fly away so by that time before he flew away or before he opened his wings a third drop fell on him and he looked up and what did he see there children yes let's find out what did he see the eyes of the happy prince were filled with tears and tears were running down his golden cheeks his face was so beautiful in the moonlight that the little swallow was filled with pity who are you he said i am the happy prince why are you weeping then asked the swallow you have quite drenched me so what is going on there children yes the eyes of the happy prince were filled with the tears as soon as the bird looked up he saw that the eyes of the happy prince's statue were filled with tears these drops of water were the tear drops falling off the golden statue's cheeks so when the swallow looked at happy prince's face it was looking beautiful in the moonlight but it was crying the little swallow was filled with a uh, pity he asked who are you then the happy prince replied i am the happy prince i am the happy prince then why are you weeping you have quite drenched me what's the meaning of drench children drench means soaked with the water soaked with water so the swallow thought that the statue of the happy prince but it was crying what it was doing there children why are you weeping then you have quite drenched me see the bird asked the statue why it was crying then 
it added that it had soaked him with his tears so actually what's going on there children yes the happy prince its eyes were filled with tears and tears were running down his golden cheeks then what about his face children yes his face looked so beautiful in the moonlight but it was crying okay when i was alive and had a human heart and said the statue i did not know what tears were for i lived in the palace where sorrow is not allowed to enter my courtiers called me the happy prince and happy indeed i was so i lived and so i died and now that i am dead they have set me up here so high that i can see the ugliness and all the misery of my city though my heart is made of lead yet i cannot choose but we so what do you mean by misery children misery you know sadness okay so let's see the explanation of this paragraph it's a small paragraph so listen the happy prince he started to narrate his story to the swallow okay the happy prince started to say or started to describe his story to the swallow okay so let's see his story the happy prince said when he was alive he had a human heart human heart means the heart which beats is alive at that time he was not aware that what tears were what sorrow was as he lived in a palace where there was happiness all around have you seen the sentence children yes when i was alive when i had a human heart i did not know what tears were because i lived in the palace palace means sorrow is not allowed to enter then what about his courtiers his courtiers called him happy prince what's the reason children because he was happy every time so i lived so i died and now i am dead they have set me up here so high that i can see the ugliness and all the misery of my city what's the meaning children misery as i told you misery means sadness so so now what happened to the happy prince children yes he was not aware what tears were because he had seen happiness all around in his palace but what is the condition now now he could see all the ugliness all the sadness of the city what's the reason children because he was erected as a statue on the top of a raised platform so he could see the ugliness and all the miseries of his city although his heart is made of lead i cannot choose but be what do you mean by that children yes he became so sad he became so worried what's the reason now when the statue's heart was even made of lead a metal it did not have any feeling so when it saw all this sadness it became sad and wept what do you mean by that paragraph children as i'll give you the meaning once again the happy prince he narrated his story to the swallow the happy prince said that when he was alive or when he had a human heart his human heart what do you mean by human heart human heart means uh, the heart the heart which beats or it's alive at that time he was not aware what tears were or what, what sorrow was as he lived in a palace where there was happiness all around all the people who used to work on his in his court that is what is courtiers hmm? all the people who used to work in his court they used to call him happy prince because he used to be happy all the time he had not seen sorrow at all and he said that he lived happily and died happily but when he had a human heart he never cried and he was not aware what tears were because he had seen happiness only and never faced any sorrow but now what's the condition of the statue children he is now when he was dead they had put him so high in the form of a statue on a pedestal as i told you pedestal what do you mean by pedestal pedestal means it's a raised platform so there he could see the whole city the ugliness of the city he could see everything the hunger the homelessness of the people so now when the statue is hard it was made of lead at a metal hmm? it's a metal although it did not have any feelings a metal although it had no it did not have any feelings but now it so all the sadness because it became sad and wept even the 
metal lead uh, the statue was or the statue's heart was made of metal hmm? now what's the condition of the uh, heart made of metal yes it could see the sadness it could see the miseries it could see the sorrows of the people it became so sad and started to cry over the sadness or the sorrowful condition of his city or the condition of the people of his city okay what is he not solid gold said the swallow to himself he was too polite to make any personal remarks far away continued the statue in a low musical voice far away in a little street there is a poor house one of the windows is open and through it i can see a woman seated at a table her face is thin and worn and she was coarse her red hands all prickled by the needle for she is a seamstress she is embroidering flowers on a satin gown for the loveliest of the queen's maids of honor to wear at the next court ball in a bed in the corner of the room her little boy is lying ill he has a fever and he is asking his mother to give him oranges his mother has nothing to give him but river water so he is crying swallow swallow little swallow will you not bring her the ruby out of my sword hilt my feet are frozen and to this my feet are frozen to this pedestal and i cannot move so what is the first paragraph children what is he not solid god said the swallow to himself he was too polite to make any personal remarks so what is going on there children yes the statue continued its story it spoke in a musical voice okay so listen is he got is he not solid so here this swallow had a doubt what is a doubt children yes when the happy prince was telling his sad story the swallow was thinking about something else in his mind what did he children yes the bird wondered that the statue of the prince was not made of solid gold it was surprised why children what's the reason it thought that from outside the statue was covered with gold but as it said the heart uh, uh, was made of lead and was not of gold what's the reason children because the swallow realized that it was not made of solid gold because it make personal remarks it did not comment anything about the statue because it was giving the value to the statue's feelings so what is he got uh, what is he thinking children yes is he not solid gold what's the reason he was too polite to make any personal remarks what's the reason yes the swallow realized or uh, the swallow understood the feelings of the happy prince the feelings of the happy prince okay so far away continued the story uh, continued the statue in a slow musical voice so what is going on there children yes the statue continued its story it spoke in a very musical voice that far away there was a house of a poor woman there was a poor woman what's the condition of the woman the window of her house was open and they could see through the window that she was sitting near a table she was seated at a table her face was thin and she was very tired her hands were rough and had become red because they had been pricked by the needle because the woman was a seamstress what do you mean by seamstress children seamstress means a woman who makes a living by sewing a tailor seamstress means a tailor so the woman was a seamstress then what she was doing there children yes she was embroidering the woman was embroidering flowers on a gown of the queen's maid who would walk along with the queen's during the court ball for the party ball means party so the statue said that the lady who was embroidering the gown had a little child who was not well he was suffering from fever and was asking his mom to give him oranges his mother was very poor she had no money she could only give him water what's the reason children yes they were very poor so the happy prince's statue or the happy prince requested the swallow to take out the ruby stone from the handle of its sword and give it to the lady what's the reason my feet are fastened to this pedestal that i cannot move 
the statue added one more thing its feet were fastened or its uh, feet were tied to the platform or it was pasted to the platform because of which it could not move my feet are fastened my feet are tightened to this pedestal pedestal i told you i told you it's a raised platform i cannot move so can you help me uh, will you not bring her the ruby out of my sword hilt hilt i told you handle handle of the sword then what's the reply given by the swallow children i am waited for in eji said the swallow my friends are flying up and down the nile and taking to the large lotus flowers soon they will go to sleep the prince asked the swallow to stay with him for one night and be his messenger the boy is so thirsty and the mother is so sad he said i don't think i like boys and said the swallow i want to go to egypt but the happy prince looked so sad that the little swallow was sorry it's very cold here he said but he agreed to stay with him for one night and be his messenger thank you little swallow said the prince the swallow picked out the great ruby from the prince's sword and flew away with it in his beak over the roofs of the town so what is going on there children yes listen so what is going on there i am waited for in egypt so i am waited for in egypt what do you mean by that sentence children i am waited for in egypt yes my friends have gone they were waiting for me my friends are flying up and down the nil and talking to the large lotus flower so i have to go i have to go then the prince asked the swallow to stay with him for one night and be his messenger so here the happy prince he is requesting the swallow to wait for one night or to stay with him for one night and be his messenger so what did he ask children yes the boy is so tasty which boy is so tasty children yes the seamstress son hmm? the seamstress the tailor's son what she was doing there children yes she was embroidering flowers on a satin gown for the loveliest of the queens maid of honor then what's the condition of her boy yes he was suffering from fever and he was asking his mom to, mom to give him some oranges but she was helpless she has nothing to give him the boy is so tasty and the mother is so sad then the answer given by the swallow i don't think i like a boys you know the reason what's the children yes we know boys have a habit to throw stones at birds so the swallow answered like this i don't think i like a boys i want to go to egypt but the happy prince he looked so sad that the little swallow was sorry so the little swallow or the the statue requested the swallow to stay with him for one night so the swallow it felt very sorry for him and he agreed at last he agreed to stay with him for one night and be his messenger then the prince thank you thank you little swallow so what did the little swallow do the swallow picked up or picked out the great ruby the valuable the precious stone from the prince's sword and flew away with it in his beak over the roofs of the town he passed by the cathedral tower where the white marble angels were sculptured he passed by the palace and heard the sound of dancing a beautiful girl came out on the balcony with her lover i hope my dress will be ready in time for the state ball she said i have ordered flowers to be embroidered on it but the seamstress was so lazy he passed over the river and saw the lanterns hanging on the masts of the ships at last he came to the poor woman's house and looked in the boy was tossing feverishly on his bed and the mother had fallen asleep she was so tired in he in he hopped and laid the great ruby on the table beside the woman's thimble then he flew gently round the bed fanning the boy's forehead with his wings how cool i feel said the boy i must be getting better and he sank into a delicious slumber <coughs> so what's going on there children yes 
when they swallow it was crossing over the palace a girl came out on the balcony along with her uh, lover have you seen that yes he passed by the cathedral tower where he had seen white marble angels sculptures were there and he passed by the palace and he heard the sound of dancing a beautiful girl came out on the balcony with her lover so when this swallow was crossing over the palace he had seen many scenes so a girl came out on the balcony along with her lover and she was hoping that the gown which she had given to the seamstress for embroidery embroidering would be ready on time then she was talking about the same gown on which that the lady was doing embroidering to whom the bird had gone to give the ruby stone so he passed over the river and saw the lanterns hanging on the masts of the ships what's the meaning children mast mast means sail of the ship so he passed over the river when he passed over the river he had seen lanterns hanging on the uh, sail of the ship and at last he came to the poor woman's house and looked in so when the swallow flew over the river ships also came along the way lanterns were hanging on their sails and finally the swallow reached the woman's house finally the woman the swallow had reached the woman's house the tailor's house the seamstress house then the boy was tossing feverishly on his bed the boy was turning left and right tossing you know turning left and right on his bed because he was so restless and his mother had fallen asleep she was so tired so what's the condition children the boy was not sleeping comfortably but his mother had fallen asleep because she was so tired the boy was suffering from fever and for that reason he was not able to go to sleep and he was turning left and right on his bed and his mother was very tired due to working for long and had fallen asleep then what's the meaning of thimble children the woman's thimble thimble means a metal or plastic cap with a closed end worn to protect the finger and push the needles in sewing the swallow put the ruby stone on the table near the thimble thimble means i told you a metal or plastic cap with a closed end worn to protect the finger hmm? you know uh, our mother uh, used to cut vegetables no when they cut vegetables they used a finger cap like that here also thimble means it's a finger cap want to protect the finger and push the needle in sewing okay so the swallow put the ruby stone on the table near the thimble when he flew gently round the bed fanning the boy's forehead with his wings and how cool i feel the boy said so what did she do children yes after keeping the ruby on the table the swallow went near the boy as his mother was sleeping and no one was taking care of him so what did he do children it shook its wings near him because of which the boy could feel the cool air and felt better the boy felt that he was getting better and he went to sleep and with this we can make out that the swallow was a kind hearted bird okay so how cool i feel said the boy i must be getting better and he sank into a delicious slumber what do you mean by delicious slumber slumber means sleep slumber means sleep so uh, when the swallow fanned him with his wings when the swallow fanned the boy's forehead with his wings the boy felt very happy he felt that he was getting better and he sang into a delicious slumber he sang into a comfortable he sang into a comfortable sleep then the swallow flew back to the happy prince and told him what he had done it's curious but i feel quite warm now although it is so cold so what is going on there children yes then the swallow flew back to the happy prince and told him everything that he had done for the seamstress and her boy okay so the swallow flew back and went to the happy prince and told him all he had done it's curious he remarked but i feel quite warm now although it's so cold so here the swallow remarked it's curious it's so strange i feel quite warm even if it's cold i feel quite warm then what's the reply given by the princess children this is because you have done a good action 
so what's the reply given by the prince till then yes the prince said that it was feeling warm because the swallow was feeling warm because it had done a good deed it had done a good thing it had helped someone that's why he felt warm even if the climate is cold okay so and the little swallow began to think and then fall asleep thinking always made him sleepy so what is going on there children yes after listening to the happy princess reply the swallow started thinking and when he started thinking he felt sleepy because whatever he thought he used to feel sleepy so when day broke he flew down to the river and had a bath tonight i go to egypt said the swallow and he was in high spirits at the prospect he visited all the monuments and sat a long time on top of the church steeple when the moon rose he flew back to the happy prince have you any commissions for egypt he cried i am just hunting swallow swallow little swallow said the prince will you stay with me one night longer i am waiter for in egypt and said the swallow so what is going on there children yes when the day broke he flew down to the river and had a bath tonight i go to egypt he was in high spirits at the prospect what do you mean by children prospect see here is the word prospect prospect means thought of something he was very happy at the thought of something what's the reason children now because he was very happy to go to egypt tonight tonight i go to egypt tonight means today night i go to egypt he was in high spirits at the prospect he was in high spirit at the thought of something so the next morning swallow went to the river and took a bath and thought that that night he would reach egypt so he was very happy so what did he do he visited all the monuments and they sat a long time on the top of the church steeple steeple means the high tower of the church steeple the high tower so the swallow visited all the monuments of the city <coughs> and finally he went and sat on the high tower of the church then when the moon rose he flew back to the happy prince then he asked something have you any commissions for egypt <coughs> i am just starting then when it was night and the moon rose in the sky and the swallow went to the happy prince and sought permission have you any commissions for egypt so what he was doing the children yes he asked the permission to leave for egypt so what's the reply given by the happy prince children swallow swallow little swallow will you stay with me one night longer will you stay with me for this night no no i am waited for in egypt i want to go to egypt and said the swallow 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 little swallow far away across the city i could see a young man in a garret he is leaning over a desk covered with the papers and in the glass by his side there is a bunch of withered violets what is going on there children his hair is brown and crisp his uh, lips are red as a pomegranate and he has large and dreamy eyes he is trying to finish a play for the director of the theater but he is too cold to write any more there is no fire in the grate <coughs> and hunger has made him faint I will wait with you one night longer said the swallow who really had a good heart he asked if he should take another ruby to the young playwright alas i have no ruby now said the prince my eyes are old that i have left they are made of red sapphires which were brought out of india a thousand years ago okay children so let's move on to the concluding slide of this session today's session okay so listen so what is going on there children yes happy prince again they requested the swallow to stay for one more night what's the reason children yes far away across the city he could see a man he could see a dark room he could see the top of the house a young man was sitting there he was sitting on a desk on which the papers were spread all over so what is going on there children yes again happy prince gave the description of a man what condition of that man children yes <coughs> a young man he was in a garret what do you mean by children garret garret means a small dark room 
at the top of the house garret means a small dark room so he could see a young man in a dark small room he was leaning over a desk covered with the papers in a glass by his side there is a bunch of withered violets what do you mean withered violets worn out violets his hair what's the condition of his hair it's brown and uh, violet you know what's the meaning of violet children violet means a kind of flower so in the glass by his side there is a bunch of worn out violet a bunch of worn out flowers it's not fresh at all then the condition of the boy or the condition of the young man his hair it's brown in color his eyes lips his lips were red as pomegranate he has large dreamy eyes then what he was doing the children he was trying to finish a story a drama a play not story children a play means a drama he was trying to finish a drama for the director of the theater but he could not do that what's the reason because he was too cold to write any more there was no fire in the grate and hunger has made him faint that means he was so tired he was so tired he was so poor he had nothing to eat there was no fire in the garage he was too cold to write any more then the reply given by the swallow the swallow understood the condition i will wait with you one night longer who really had a good heart he asked if he could take another ruby to the young playwright so what is going on there children yes again he requested the swallow to help another person he asked if she should take another ruby to the young playwright then alas i have no ruby now <coughs> my eyes are that i have left they are made of rare sapphires so what is going on there children yes the happy prince he, the happy prince he requested the swallow that the young man needed to finish writing a play he was a writer he had to give the play to the director after writing but he did not have the strength to write any more what's the reason children because he was feeling very cold the boy had no money or the young man he had no money that's why there was no fire in his fireplace he was very hungry uh, which was he was feeling uh, very weak so the swallow understood what happy prince was trying to tell him he knew that the happy prince wanted to help the young man so he agreed to stay back for one more night okay then the swallow asked happy prince if he should take another ruby stone to give it to the young playwright that means just like he had given it to the old lady hmm? he had given he had already given the ruby stone to the old lady that seems stress alas i have no ruby now my eyes are that i have felt left they are made of red sapphire so the prince said that it was very sad that he did not have any more ruby stones with him then happy prince said that he had eyes which were made of very precious very rare sapphire stones which had been brought thousands of years ago from india so what kind of sapphires with him children yes rare and very precious sapphire stones which had been brought thousand which had been bought thousands of years ago from india so he ordered the swallow to pluck out one of them and take it to the playwright playwright you know playwright means a person who is writing dramas that is what is the meaning of playwright so the happy prince ordered the swallow to pluck out one of them and take it to the playwright he will sell it to the jeweler and buy firewood and finish his play so what did he do children yes he ordered the swallow to pluck out one of them and take it to the playwright so the happy prince told the swallow to take it out then what he would do yes he will sell it to the jeweler and buy firewood and finish his play dear prince i cannot do that he began to weep so who began to weep children yes the swallow i cannot do that he began, swallow swallow little swallow said the prince do as commanded i commanded you so again and again the happy prince commanded little swallow to do what he said so the swallow what did he do children yes dear prince i cannot do that he began to weep again what did he say yes swallow you have to do what i say okay children so here comes an end of today's session
टू थ्री पेजेस आर देर चिल्ड्रेन इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल स्टोरी ई थिंक यू डोंट वॉन्ट एनी एक्सप्लेनेशन फ्रॉम द पार्ट ऑफ ए टीचर्स सो इट्स वेरी सिंपल यू हव टू रीड इट देन वन मोर यूट्यूब वीडियो इज देर इट्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग यू हव टू सी दैट इट्स एन एनिमेटेड वन देन इट विल बी क्लियर फॉर यू द होल स्टोरी इज वेरी क्लियरली डिस्क्रिप्टेड इन इट सो डोंट फोर गेट टू वॉच इट ओके सो थैंक यू चिल्ड्रेन थैंक यू सो मच चिल्ड्रेन यू हव टू रीड द लेसन थरली